what's on here. Right here, let's start out with a landmark we know about. Thought I brought my, my kid's toy here for Halloween. It's got a good point on it. But we'll start here in Wichapec. Right here in Wichapec, we'll go up 96. And right in this area right here, just the turnoff for Fish Lake. Just the turnoff for Fish Lake. You go just past that, and this is Bluff Creek. Right here. Well, there's a road, a trail. Not necessarily on this side, but they're just doing this because this was in the way here. But this follows the creek. Right across here off Bluff Creek. Falls Bluff Creek all the way up. Past Bee Creek. Keeps cruising around, working its way back up. Past the Fish Lake, past Onion Mountain. Towards Laird Valley. And right over here you see there's Notice Creek. Notice Creek puts in right here at Bluff Creek, right in this area here. But this keeps going. The road crosses over these creeks here. It keeps going up this side, and it will fall the way up, and it this dumps past Scorpion Creek. But the film site's in this area about right in here. Just about in this area in here. Patterson film site. That gives you an idea of one of the older maps, probably in the 70s. October 8th, 2010. We're going up one more time to take a look at the Patterson Gimma film site. But we're also trying to figure out where the road access was. And this is interesting. It's just off to our left, far down the road turns, is Laos Camp. And this is the road coming back from Laos Camp. And you notice on this, there's asphalt pieces, bits of asphalt. This used to be a major road section coming through here. I'm here with Richard, and we're looking at the roadway between Notice Bridge and Laos Camp. And there's some pieces of asphalt, as you can see. And that's basically what it is. The old roadway that they had before, falling apart because of years of abuse. Thanks, Richard. Yep. The road coming back from uh, Onion Mountain uh, reconnects with the uh, roadway from Laos Camp. This was the main route, going to Nose Bridge. Bridge over Notice Creek. As you can see, it was established in 1958, well before the uh, 67 Patterson film and before the 64 flood. Bob Gillen and Roger Patterson drove over this bridge and route to their campsite in the, along the creek, along Bluff Creek area. This is the same road cut that was here in 67. Still being used today. Down the side of the canyon. Bluff Creek. Big bear scat pile. Looks like they use the roads too. This is the first bridge past Notice Creek. The one where we're going to start our walk through the creek itself. And uh, this wasn't here in 67. Don't know the date yet. But it wasn't here at the then. There's no date on the bridge. I'll we'll have to do some more research and dig it out. But this is where our journey starts back up the creek again. First bridge past Notice Creek. This is the one they talk about walking up creek from this point. But there's no bridge then. Coming off the hillside, down slope here, and on that graded area just below the creek. Heading back up that road cut type open area. And we'll take a closer look as we walk up the creek. There's always a possibility that this percent slope here wasn't quite as steep and they drove down this part of the road. Some larger boulders tucked in there. Could have been thrown in. You don't find those boulders on the other side, just this side. There's riprap on the other side on both sides, but no big boulders. Could have gone down in grade to this point here and cross the creek walls. 
It's October 8th, 2010, well into fall. And this time we're revisiting the uh, Bluff Creek water area, the creek side. And we're just going to look for more of the road cut aspects of it. And right in front of me here on the high side, pretty noticeable open area. Seems like all a terrace all the way down the creek. It's ironic that 43 years ago, Roger Patterson and Bob Gimlin came to this very spot, most likely crossed this very, very creek area in their vehicle, driving up to find their camp half mile or so up the creek, if that far. They arrived about this time. It wasn't until October 20th that they had their, their sighting and documentation with the footage. But kind of neat in a way, stoic. Going to check it out. So we're going to look for any road crossing areas that uh, come to mind. It's like we did last time. We'll note them a little bit better this time. All right, let's get going. Bigfoot lives.